In this movie, we're going to take a look at adding plugins onto a track. To do this in Pro Tools, we'll go to the Mix window, which we're at, and we'll use Inserts. If the inserts aren't showing, then you can choose this icon down at the bottom of the Mix window and make sure that Inserts is checked. I've got the drums shown here, and I'll enable the Drums Mix Group and Solo the Drums and play back from verse 1. Okay, so I'd, I'd like to pop the snare out a little bit more and um, also hear some reverb on it. So I'll unsolo, disengage the mix group, and then solo snare. It looks like there are two tracks devoted to the snare. Let's take a listen. Okay, so the first one is a low frequency portion of the snare. The second one is a higher frequency portion. Okay, let's deal with the second one. Okay, so I'll add <clears throat> reverb to this track by going up to inserts, that's here at the top, choosing the top insert, plug in, reverb, and I'll choose deverb mono to stereo. And I've only got the default plugins installed. If you've installed other third party plugins, they'll appear in this list, assuming that there are TAS or TDM. Now I get the deverb window. I'll hit the space bar. And now I hear the sound going through the plugin and I can see the output and adjust different parameters. So I can adjust the input, the wet dry mix, so all the way dry to the left, all the way wet to the right. I'll go about 35%. Here I can adjust the algorithm for the reverb. I want a room sound, so I'll choose one of these rooms. That's a pretty good one. And then I can adjust different options, such as the decay. And some different uh, filter settings. Reverb is really good for creating a sense of space, and the right use of reverb can really uh, make a recording sound fantastic. Now if I want to save this setting, choose the up and down arrow, and choose save setting as. I'll call mine um, small room uh, drums. Now to access my setting, it's stored here in this long box that says small room drums. And you can see some other settings that other users on this computer have saved. So I can quickly go between my settings and draw them up later. To bypass a plugin, you hit the bypass button. And to switch a plugin, you can click on the title of the plugin and then choose another plugin. Doing this while the session's playing is bad news, unless you've got a really beefy computer, so I won't do it now. I'll just stop. You can close the plugin window. You're not actually disabling the plugin, you're just closing the plugin window. Now, if I switch to a non marrow mix, vic, uh, mix view, I see here Dverb. And if I want to move this plugin to another track, I just click it and drag it. If I want to copy it to another track, hold Option and click and drag. And to shut off or disable, um, I hold the title and choose No Insert. So now we take a listen with just the drums. So I'll disengage the solo, engage the drum mix group, and then solo to get just the drums. Okay, so that lets me play around with it a little bit in the mix. Now, what you want to know about um, inserts is that you can have five inserts on a track, 
and they are in series. So the next insert that I add will process the reverb sound. Um, and then if I add an insert after that, it'll process the reverb, the second process sound. Okay, so you want to be very careful about the order that you put your inserts in. I like to put my ambient um, inserts at the end, so I'll drag this down to the bottom insert. Now I'll insert a compressor here at the top. It needs a little bit more gain. So plug in dynamics and I'll choose compressor limiter. And when you're working with a compressor, you should just be careful because it's sort of a, a magic uh, plug-in that can make things sound really great, uh, but in a, just the turn of a second sound really awful. Um, so use it with discretion. Okay, so I'll turn on my mix group to unsolo, turn it off, and solo this track. And let's start from the verse again. So now what I'll do is I'll pump this up a little bit. And I'll have, I get this pumping sound if I take the attack down. I can turn the attack way up. There we go, this gets sort of a an 80s metal kind of sound, the, the pumping of the uh, compressor in and out. It's really being pumped by the kick drum. Eh, it's a bit over the top, but... Okay. Okay. Now let's take a listen to it in the mix. can already hear that it pops a lot more. You can really hear the definition of the snare just by adding a compressor and some reverb. And then I can mix it up if necessary. With some of these algorithms, my timing is completely off. But not to fear, if I want my original um, settings again, just click Small Room Drums. And so that's adding uh, simple plugins and effects. Remember that the effects are in series, so they'll process from the top down. The compressor will feed into the next effect, so on, until you get to the fifth effect. And in later movies, I'm going to show you a more sophisticated way for using plugins, actually the way that I would actually do it, and that's using um, FX Sends. Um, but for now, you can process your tracks really simply and get some results pretty quickly.